Growing up, I would spend one weekend of every summer at a Christian music festival in Berea, Kentucky. It claimed to be different from most music festivals in that it didn't allow alcohol, drugs, and it claimed to be guided by an overarching ethic of love. I don't think that festival exists anymore, but nature abhors a vacuum, and so another music festival has popped up in its place in Berea, Moonshiner's Ball. As you can probably tell from the name, they don't prohibit alcohol. I'm not sure what the official policy on drugs is, but I can tell you this. While some Christians might be good at loving each other, they haven't cornered the market. That overarching ethic of love can be found at Moonshiner's Ball. Last weekend, I took the rainy drive down to Berea, put on a press badge, and made myself at home among the mud and the music. Everybody called and always says to attend a festival like this, you really have to know yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to know what you can put up with, uh -huh. what you're going there to see, mm -hmm. kind of what your priorities are. Mm -hmm. uh, to play a festival like this, what's required? Is it like playing any other venue? What are the what are the ins and outs? I didn't know any of those things, but I learned them last night. Yeah, I was thinking about you know small batch play. I sat at uh, 5.30 last night and then I stuck around and, um, you know, Robbie was here, he's been out on the road with Amanda Beer and Horse Feathers and uh, we hadn't got to hang out in a long time so just ended up staying and uh, having some epic adventures through the night. But from a musical standpoint, you want to give the pe you you kind of want to give your greatest hits because you know I had a 30 minute set today and if I had an hour set it might have been different but it's like you know you want to get get in get done and chill just trying to I don't know kind of set a mood maybe and uh, roll with uh, whatever's happening. So. When you go to book bands, you don't get every band that you want to get. You know, you try to get bands, and there's a negotiation process, and some of them come through, and some of them don't. But, but, but um, we're not looking for anything specific, right? So that's where we start from. We're good with bands that write great poetry, and like we're good with bands that like have tremendous like expressive vocals or a voice that moves you. We're good with bands that have electric pickers and crazy time signature changes. And, um, take people into you know different realms through their use of dynamics or time or um, explore sounds that are a little non-conventional we're definitely in the bands that mix genres um, that probably defines almost every band we have yeah, I just I think we want to continue to um, to draw uh, more and more uh, cool interesting artistic people uh, into this place and to expand our community of artists and our community of festival goers. Um, and that line is totally blurred. I, I actually feel like everybody that's here is an artist. I just you can tell by looking around they are. You know, even if they're not performers, they're still artists. You know, and that's that's what we really that's really what we draw, right? We really draw artists. You know, and, and some of them get paid to be here and some of them are here just because they want to hang out with other artists and experience art. Yeah.